Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing a course review for the eLearn Security Web Application Pen Test Extreme course. This course is focused on advanced web application penetration testing attacks, and it could be good to advance your penetration testing career. So should you give it a go? Well, let's find out. So eLearn Security are a lesser known penetration testing training company, but they have built their reputation quite solidly in the past few years. The WAPTX course is an advanced course and it's not aimed at beginners. It's more designed to help uh, seasoned pen penetration testers advance their career. This course aims to teach advanced web application penetration testing techniques, as well as web application firewall bypassing. So like most of eLearn security courses, it's broken down into the following. We have the lecture slides to teach the content. There is about eight slide packs with an average of about 200 slides, all teaching different concepts. About 15 videos showing practical demonstrations and tutorials to set up advanced tools and custom scripts. There's the private labs to get your hands dirty and these labs take you through step-by-step -step and offer solutions if you get stuck. But these are quite challenging. So I can't show you the courses page because my subscription has uh, completed, but what is shown here is exactly what we see on this syllabus here. So all of these have uh, associated slides and labs with each module, as well as videos. So we have encoding and filtering, which really shows you from the ground up uh, how different encoding mechanisms work and how filtering can prevent some exploits from working. Evasion's Basics basically goes into more detail uh, of what was in the filtering section of Module 1. Cross-Site Scripting will show you from the ground up how to do cross-site scripting attacks and the Filter Evasion will again show you how you can try to bypass some web application firewalls with XSS attacks. The cross-site request forgery module was really, really good. This really took you to quite an advanced level of doing CSRF attacks, which was really interesting. Likewise, HTML was pretty interesting as well, uh, but no relevant information for exploits here. But basically, it shows you some tools that you can use to aid your exploits. Then we have the SQL injections module, which assumes you already have some knowledge of SQL injections and it basically goes into further details. And likewise with module eight, it goes into filter evasion and web application firewall bypassing. Module nine is XML attacks, which you go into the XXE and XEE attacks. I found this module quite fun. So this is a sample of the slides. Here we have the encoding slide deck, which is the first chapter in this course. And here's just a quick preview of the layout of the slides. And just to give you a bit of a preview as to how detailed they can go. So as you can see, it goes to a very low level detail, which is really handy if you want to learn everything from the ground up and learn how it works, as opposed to just learning how to exploit it. The following is a preview of the videos that they include. Welcome to this eLearn Security video lesson on website cloning. In this video, we're going to see how to clone a target website using three different methods. So as you can see from that quick little preview there, these videos are in full HD and the audio narration is very clear and it's a very professional quality. Now we get to have some fun by showing you the labs. This is the screen of the eLearn Security website where you can select your labs. As you can see, there are a handful of them here, all with their individual manual and controls to start and stop the VPN. You connect through uh, OpenVPN, so you just download the VPN file and you configure your local DNS to resolve to those URLs specified in the manual. This is the manual and it, there is a manual for each lab and it will basically just give you a quick little overview as to what's included in the lab and how to go about solving it 
and how you can configure your computer to be able to resolve the DNS. And lastly, here is a preview of the actual labs. So here we have the first cross-site scripting lab. And here we basically just need to do a simple cross-site script. So as we can see, when we type, it will show you in real time uh, how that is rendered on the page. So that's really handy for learning how the browser is interpreting your code. Lastly, Leslie exam. It's a one week exam to show what you've learned in the course, and it does include a free reset if you don't pass first go. Keep in mind, this is a very difficult exam. So onto pricing, and some people may already know that eLearn Security are not the cheapest training provider out there in the market. With this course, you have two options. You can either go the pro or the elite versions. The content of the course is the same apart from the following. In the pro, you have to complete the course within three months of enrolling, and you have 90 lab hours, which probably should be enough. This will set you back 1100 US dollars. The Elite has no exam expiry, so you can take as long as you like to do this course. You have 120 lab hours, and you can download the slides and videos for future viewing, even if the course has expired. This will set you back about $1,300. So just who is this course for? Well, it's not really designed for beginner penetration testers. I'd definitely say it's aimed towards your more advanced penetration testers who want to focus in web applications. Also, I see this could be used by advanced web application developers wanting to learn how to protect their apps against certain attacks. So overall, what are the pros and cons of this course? Well, on the pros, I think you learn some pretty cool techniques and it's really challenging, especially the examination. And upon completing this course, you'll get an industry-recognized certificate which will help you boost your pen test career. But here are my cons for the course. I think the course is a bit expensive for what you get. It's out of date. It doesn't teach anything like Angular, JSON Web Services, uh, JWT tokens, or any of this new modern web framework. And lastly, I think there's too much focus on web application firewall evasions, which rarely seem to have any effect in the real world. So overall, I find it hard to recommend this course because firstly, it's not beginner friendly. eLearn Security do offer a much more comprehensive web application pen test course, which goes into a lot of detail but doesn't go to this advanced level. Secondly, the money that you spend on this course could get you both a subscription to Pentester Lab and Pluralsight, and you'd probably learn more from both of those two services than you would in this course. And lastly, it's expensive for what you get. So there you have it, guys. I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get around to answering those as soon as I can. And if you'd like to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And before you go, I've got more videos on eLearn Security courses. Click here for my WAPTX exam preparation guide and click over here for my review on the PTP v5 course. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.